this year we will have again our ladies tea this will be on saturday from 10 15 to 11. Uh, we do ask that ladies wear period dress but if they are not comfortable in doing so or uh, aren't outfitted for the occasion uh, that is certainly not uh, mandatory um, most ladies uh, of that period would have brought their own teacup so if you have your own teacup you are more than welcome to bring that as well uh, Mrs. Lee will be coming down from Arlington that day and will be visiting with us for a few minutes. Uh, we hope to have a good crowd and shortly after the tea is over, we will be attending a memorial service um, for two gentlemen that we lost this past year. We would like to have as many visitors as possible and in the entire area or surrounding Blountville, Tennessee. The uh, scenario for the battle does need civilians in period, authentic period dress. So if you have the equipment for period dress, please put it on and come out and join us for this battle. Um, the ladies tea, as Jackie was saying, will be from 1015 until 11. Um, if you don't have dress, just go ahead and come. We would love to have anybody and everybody there. Well, I'm in charge, it appears. Uh, I've been talking with uh, General Sam Jones. He's in, you know, in command most of the of most of this area. Uh, we've got rumor of a lot of federals coming up from Knoxville. My intent is to try to defend Blountville and kill as many of the enemy as possible. This year's event will be very exciting from the military standpoint. We're going to have a large contingent of infantry on both Union and Confederates. We're also looking at uh, having mounted cavalry on the field plus uh, full-scale artillery. So we've got a very good, active, uh, engaged uh, scenario for the battle reenactment this year. It will uh, historically reenact exactly as best as possible to the battle as it was actually portrayed. So. We really invite everyone to come out to this event uh, and enjoy. I want to say that uh, as the arbitrator for the 2015 Battle of Bluntful, we welcome everyone to come to the event. This is an event that's going to be designed for the whole family, for children. It's a learning experience. And that's the primary reason that we do this is as a commemoration for both sides that fought for this battle, for both sides that lost their lives. And the sacrifice that the community itself went through here in the town of Bluntville. Uh, with that being said, I'd also like to give a thanks to three of our major sponsors and all the other sponsors that we have as well. The uh, major sponsors, of course, being the 2015 Battle of Bluntville Committee, uh, of which I'm the board arbitrator, uh, the Battle of Bluntville Civil War Military Park as well, and for the Sullivan County Archives and Tourism Department and their role that they have uh, performed admirably in this year's uh, commemoration. Uh, we also want to let you know there's a lot of events that are different this year. We're going to have cab on the field. We're going to have the opportunity to burn the tannery. We're going to have an opportunity to have fireworks, uh, excellent fireworks demonstration by the fireworks supermarket. Uh, we're going to have hay rides. We're going to have all sorts of events for the kid. We're going to have cab demonstrations, artillery demonstrations. We're going to have infantry as well. Uh, Colonel Lance Dawson uh, of the Army of the French Broad will be commanding the Union Forces and Carl Jenkins, the Colonel of the uh, DET, will be here as well. Now speaking as a Union line officer, it is our duty this year to ensure that we bring the secesh rabble back into the fold of the Union and we're going to exact revenge upon the saddlery that furnished those saddles to John Hunt Morgan's men and to John S. Mosby. So come out, be a part of this year's celebration. Thank you.